Hi, I'm Jen Sedler, one of the school social workers at Southside High School, and I'm here today to talk about growth mindset. Growth mindset was brought to our attention through the work of Carol Dweck. She states, in a growth mindset, people believe that their most basic abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. Brains and talent are just the starting point. This view creates a love of learning and a resilience that is essential for great accomplishment. As we have learned through educational research, intelligence is not set in stone. Children and adults can develop and train for understanding. And one of the most important factors for being able to develop intelligence is the belief that it is the result of hard work and study. In school, we often see how hard it can be for a young people to try new things when they are afraid of failing. Teaching them that it is okay to make mistakes will free them up to try new things. In the process of making that effort, they will learn what works and what does not. I take the opportunity as a school counselor to remind my students that their brain is like a muscle and their efforts are helping to make their skills stronger, just like exercise makes the muscles in our body stronger. We can encourage a growth mindset by teaching them the mantra, mistakes help my brain grow. When someone easily finds an answer, they have shown the knowledge they already have without learning anything. When someone makes a mistake, they are forced to find out why and then learn something new in the process. This encourages a path of continuous learning. We can encourage a growth mindset by teaching them to try out new ideas and approaches to problem solving. If your child is struggling with a problem, ask them if there's another way that might work to solve the problem. Even though you will be tempted to solve the problem for them, don't. If your child is really stuck with an issue, help them brainstorm what else they can do to solve their problem or complete their work. When we jump in to help too often, young people may be less likely to build the confidence and independence they need to try hard things and learn from their mistakes. The language you use and the actions you take show your children about what you expect. Giving process praise, talking about the brain, accepting mistakes as learning opportunities are all practices you can begin today. And the way we praise our children can have a profound impact on their mindset. For example, rather than saying, you are so smart, because it makes them think of intelligence as a fixed quality, Instead, say, I can see you work so hard on this. Because it helps your child understand you value their effort. If your child says, I'll never be good at math, remind them they might not be there just yet, but to keep working hard and trying their best. <laughs>